Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a 5M RP server as fast as possible. And I'm going to take you along with me. So let's get right into it. All right, now I'm just going to go through and uh, pick all my scripts and my car scripts and pretty much whatever you want. Just go through, download all the scripts you want for the server. You can always add later, so it doesn't really matter. Just download the ones that you want. We can go ahead and drag our scripts into our server. And if we would like, we can change the names of the scripts to something a little more simple. That way adding it to the server.cfg would be simpler. So then we'll go ahead and once we're done with that, we'll go ahead and add it to the server.cfg. And once we're done with that, we'll go ahead and run our server and we'll test out our scripts. And we can also see what we need to change in the server, you know, whatever scripts we need to download and stuff like that. All right, we're in the gun store now and well, a lot of these prices are really bad and there's a lot of stuff I need to delete so we'll have to fix that later. Here we have a nice Y map. Uh, it's Icebox which is actually pretty neat. You know, that that may be a nice um, jewelry store for for people or whatnot. Then we also have a studio here, which people can RP at and do pretty much whatever they want. We'll add these as a, um, a blip on the map later. We'll go ahead and add DP emotes, which is really good for RP. I think it's almost a necessity. It definitely advances RP in the server. All right, then now we're gonna add some blips for our new Y maps, including Icebox and our studio. So to add a blip, all you gotta do is get the coordinates where you want the blip to be, and then you go into it and you do the blips.lua, and you change the X, Y, and Z of it. I wanna try out the DP emotes, so we're gonna try that out. And then we'll also try a hotwire script that I added. We'll go ahead and try those two out.
Next, we're going to add all the cars to the server. And this is definitely a long process. So you have to actually like put in the files into the um, stream folder. And it, it'll probably take you a while. And then you got to add them to the CFG once you're done with that. And then after that, you also have to add it to the SQL. And finally, we're just going to add one more last Y map to the server, and we're all set. And finally, after many tries with this car dealership, Finally, finally got it to work. Oh my god, what a good moment. And finally, 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 we're done with the server. We're just going to quick organize some stuff and test if it actually doesn't have any errors and it doesn't we're done all right now that the server's done i'm gonna give you guys a real quick tour of the server and what i did all the time and some of the things I didn't even show you. So let's load it up real quick and we'll give you a tour of it. All right, now that we're on the server, all right, let's see, uh, where should we go first? Um, I'll spawn on a car real quick. I guess first we'll go over here to the gun shop. Why not, fuck it, I'm already over here. Change the guns so you have these at a decent price. And with the, the economy as well, it's been uh <clears throat> the the jobs for it, they're um they're pretty um low paying, so the economy is pretty normal like it would be in the real world. That's one thing I I feel like servers actually fail to do a lot is have a realistic economy and things are like millions of dollars when not really true we have a weed store here buy some weed at show you the the clothing menu what the hell is that so I have this clothing menu it's kind of nice because you can you can switch your your skin over here so you can go through and actually select. So you could actually make your character like fat if you really wanted to RP like that. So you can just save changes. It's all good. 
works, everything's normal. So here's the um the town hall where you can have meetings or whatever you want, and there's also a courtroom, which is pretty nice. You can have whatever you want in here and have some good RP in here and such and things like that. Not much to it, just a courtroom and a few other rooms. Next, I guess we'll go to our jewelry store, which is actually Icebox. This is a pretty nice map where you can buy some jewelry and things. It's quite nice. Lastly, there's a studio, pretty self explanatory, just some things like that. Um. So I guess next we'll head to the mechanic. All right, now that we're inside the house, we can, uh, you know, check it out. I've furnished the place a little bit. You know, you can add furnishes and do whatever you want. You can store stuff in places. So, you know, you just go up to the door, you can hit furnace, whatever place, manage it, you know, I got okay. place. You can furnish and you can furnish it and you, know, you can place furnish, but I don't have any, but I did place some over here, couch, top table and TV, but yep, for the most part, that's really it. And then you can just exit. Yeah, it's a pretty nice place like where you can like store and then you can also you know, type in keys. Go to this and oh no, I don't want to remove it. And use it again, and it's locked. There you go. Now I guess we'll we'll uh, we'll crash our car. See what it does when it repairs the car. So we'll just you know crash it a few times. Bumper is coming off. So it's going in here. And we can type in. Slash repair, and it makes us stand still. We can't actually go anywhere. It takes a minute. And there it goes. There's it repaired, and you can move again. Also, there's still, you can personalize your car, the custom upgrades and stuff like that. And yeah. Yeah, most of these are just basic scripts that you can find online. So, I guess we'll head to a bank, and I'll show you that. So it does an animation. You'll hit this, and here's a nice menu for it. You can withdraw and do whatever you want. So withdraw, you know, I'll withdraw 100 bucks. And I'll put 100 bucks in my account. You can see I have 51,000 in the bank, and there you go. Next thing we have is a nice housing system. This is maybe one of my favorite of the scripts that I added. So we'll head there. All right, now we're in the dealership. Let's go uh, check it out real quick. So we have some space for some cars and like compacts, coupes, and other stuff. We can add some more cars if we really wanted to, but for the most part, here are like the base cars that you can do. So mainly like the prices uh, I just put is like, you know, like somewhat normal prices for the, the car. Um, sort of like somewhat realistic prices just cause I want to keep the economy pretty realistic. Um, yeah, all, all, all it does is some like, you know, a little bit of researching if you really want to, or just, you know, do what you feel like it needs. So we can go ahead and buy, you know, whatever car we want. Um, let's screw it. We'll uh, buy this Mustang. Eh, why not? Take it for a spin. So the handling is, you know, it's not touch, so it's it's pretty realistic. 
it's not overly powerful and the speed isn't crazy so I, I think that's really an important part to keep it as realistic as possible yeah let's head to a uh a gas station and see what uh what we can do there pretty simple script just legacy fuel always works never fails see once it's a 100 fuel you can get in and you can see the fuel bar at the bottom left one up all right if you guys liked the video please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out